Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with Superfilm Support. Remember, you can ask any film photography question to superfilmsupport.com and I'll answer it here on a YouTube video. So today we have a question by Anthony who's asking, can you save money by buying a large format lens in a DB board? They have no shutter, right? And then put the front and rear element of the shutter from another lens. In other words, are shutter threads and distances standard? This is a question I've had a couple times from newbies into large format. And when you're looking for a lens for large format, usually imagine, let's say for an example, we're going to put a 150 millimeter lens and you go on eBay and you start searching, you know, uh, Schneider 150 millimeter and Rodenstock 150 millimeter, and you start seeing prices in there 500 bucks, and there are 600 bucks, and there's some that are thousand dollars, like the Rodenstock, Apo Cernar, and all these S are super expensive. And suddenly you see lenses that are 150 millimeter, and they're like a hundred dollars, a hundred fifty dollars, and you're like, well, that's a great deal. That's the one I want. I want one that's cheap and I'm buying a camera and I'm buying film holders, I'm buying a dark cloth and I'm buying all these things that are so expensive. Uh, but the lens, there's this option. It's 150 bucks, looks fine, I'm buying it. So you buy it, you receive it, and then you notice, oh, what's going on with this thing? It's a DB shutter. So DB shutters, to make it clear, are a shutter that was designed, as far as I know, by CNR, and they are meant to be used on CNR cameras or cameras that can take the CNR uh, plate, the front lens board, and the CNR DB shutter was a shutter that was apart. So the lens board basically houses the lens front element and the back element, but in between there's only the iris. And this is controlled from the back of the camera. It had like a little stick you could open and close. They, what they call them like Mickey Mouse ears and the shutter would give you the speed. Um, so if you wanted a, you know, one second, you did it on the shutter, not on the lens board, we're, like we're used to on the lenses. On large format lenses, usually you have a copal shutter that goes between the front and the back element. Here, the shutter is uh, usually in the back. The lens is usually all mounted in the front. So these lens boards look like they have a donut on them. So that's how I always tell people like, if you see a lens and it's cheap and it looks like it has a donut lens board, do not buy because that won't have a shutter. What Anthony is asking here is can we buy those DB lenses that are mounted on DB lens boards and then get a shutter and then screw them on and screw them, you know, screw them off, screw them on. In theory, yes, you can. The threads are the same. So if you're buying that, let's say 150 uh, rod and stock lens for a hundred bucks on a DB shutter, uh, and you don't have the DB shutter, you only have the DB lens board, you would buy it. And then if you had a copal, let's say one or zero, depending on which lens you're using, uh, you could unscrew the front element and screw it back onto that shutter. One thing to take notice is the f-stop uh, indication will be specific to the lens. So a 150 millimeter will have some etchings and a 210 will have different ones. So you can calculate that. They used to sell them as spares, not any longer. And then sometimes, and I'm saying sometimes, lenses used to be shimmed by the manufacturer. And what does this mean? This means that the front and the back element would, if you screw them without anything, would not be perfectly calibrated to be in focus at infinity or whatever distances to the tolerances of the manufacturer. So what the manufacturer would do is put the lens assemble it in his factory with a special machine, probably like a collimator or something like that. I could be absolutely wrong with that. And then if it needed something, they would shim it with some like 0.01 millimeter shims that you might have seen sometimes when you're taking off like the front element or the back element. So they would be, instead of being at a 150 millimeter, it had to be 150.01 millimeter to be calibrated properly. So yes, there are, the shutter threads are standard. So a Copal 1 would be a Copal 1, a Copal 0 would be a Copal 0, whatever the brand, uh, Copal 3, same thing. But the distances can, can be or cannot be standard. I've heard some people have like lenses that they've bought that someone just basically Frankenstein and grabbed the front and the back element of a different lens, put it on a different shutter and that sold them to them like it was all new and generic, like not generic, like Frankenstein. 
and they've had problems of infinity focus where it's like sh not sharp but like almost like a little like a pro mist kind of feel like you know like misty focus that can be because they're not properly calibrated i have never had that issue as far as i know and uh i have a db shutter and i do not have db shutter lenses so my idea for the db shutter was to shoot some you know pictorial lenses that don't have a shutter and i could mount them on a lens board and then i can shoot it with the shutter from the camera and not from the lens sort of like you do with a graphics that has the focal plane shutter so to answer this very long <laughs> answer video i would say yes you can buy a db uh lens board with a lens screwed on you can unscrew it and buy a shutter and screw it on and then do the etchings on the f-stop aperture for your desired lens and the shutter yes that can be done it's pretty much a standard thing but i would say usually the cost of the db uh, lens board with a lens and a shutter on its own is going to be higher than buying both together that's basically it right now if you want to buy a, a couple three shutter on its own when they used to be around they were like a thousand dollars now they're not really around so they're not really a thousand dollars they're usually more money one trick you can do is you can buy a cheapo crapo lens with a couple three shutter use that shutter for a nicer lens that you bought on db shutter i've done that for example with a 240 rod and stock lens i bought like 120 dollars on a couple three that was working i have that as a spare for a 355g claron that didn't come with a shutter so you can do that and then just the scale so yeah that's basically the answer for super film uh, support i hope this answered your question anthony I didn't go too much into uh, too much into depth about this, but if you're trying to get a camera and save on a lens, don't go the DB shutter route unless you really, really, really know what you're doing and what you're getting into. If not, you're going to end up frustrated, spending more money than you should, and then like having a lens that you don't know how to do because the lens will work, but you need a shutter basically. So yeah, that's super film support for this week. As always, remember the show is sponsored basically by you guys, Patreons and donors. I'll leave the link below if you want to help the channel make these random questions easier to answer uh, for me and you guys. Yeah. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.